I will show you how to make this cartoony explosion. To achieve this look you need an image of a circle and I will leave a download link in the video description. Drag the image into your project and set the texture type to sprite. Next you need to create the material and set the shaded type to particle unlit. Drag your sprite onto the albedo map and change the rendering mode to cut out. Create an empty game object, add a particle system component, go to the render settings and drag in your material. Set the duration and the start lifetime to 1 and set the start speed to something low like 0.5. We do this because we don't want this particle to have a lot of movement. You can also add some variation to the start lifetime by clicking on the arrow and selecting random between two constants. Don't go too high with your values here because we want the particles to disappear quickly. Go to the emission tab, set the rate over time to zero and add a burst by clicking on the plus icon. This will make sure that the particles are all instantiated at once like an actual explosion. Next, go to the shape tab and select a sphere shape. Now we will smooth out the appearance of our particles, so enable the size over lifetime. We want our particles to appear quickly and then disappear slowly. So create a curve that goes up fast and then slowly goes down. You can add an extra handle to a curve by double clicking. Time to add some color. Go to the start color, click on the arrow and select random between two colors. For the first one select a nice bright orange and for the last one, select the bright yellow. Now we will add some variation to the start size to make it look more like an actual explosion. I found that values between 1 and 3 worked best for the look I was going for. Cool, that's the first part of our explosion done. Now let's add an empty child to the explosion to add some debris. Give this game object a particle system as well. You want to set the duration and the start lifetime for this particle system to one as well. Then go to the emission tab and give it the rate over time of zero. Add another burst by clicking the plus icon. Now make this shape a sphere just like we did on the previous particle system. Go to the renderer and drag in the same sprite that we used on the other particle system. Enable size over lifetime and add a curve that decreases exponentially. Add some variation to the start speed. Values between 3 and 5 work best for me. You can do the same for start lifetime and start size. Just don't go too far apart with your values. Add a nice grey color to these particles. Now it's time to add some trails. First you need to enable the trails tab. Then go to the renderer and select the default line material. Set width over trail to be a curve and play around with it to make the trails shorter. Finally, enable force over lifetime and add a negative force on the y-axis. A value of around negative 5 works best. This makes it look like the particles are falling to the ground. After a bit more tweaking, this is what it looks like in my game. Alright, that's all there is to it. Uh, leave a comment if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.